This is Scott with Volkworts and Firearms, and today we're going to take a look at the Raptor laminated wood stock. This stock was originally designed by Dan Hawkins of Hawtech Arms to address a common concern with many of the rimfire steel shooters. Before we get into all the different features of the Raptor stock, I do want to say that it's machined very similar to all of our laminated wood stocks, which I think is unique to the market. And that is we do all of our inletting from the solid block prior to turning the outside. Many of the laminated wood stocks on the market, they will turn the outside and then go back and machine the inletting, which will work, but unfortunately that's also when it's at its most unstable. This is just a little trick that we have found that gives us a much better rigidity throughout the stock, providing better tolerances on the inletting. The one thing you'll notice is the position of the thumb on the Raptor stock versus a conventional thumb hole or even a conventional sporter style stock is it stays a little more upright and does not wrap around like it would on a normal thumb hole. There are several unique features to the Raptor stock. One of the most noticeable ones is the cheek piece is much lower than many of the other stocks on the market. We did this in order to allow the shooter to get down as low as possible. Uh, many shooters will work so hard to get the red dot or the iron sights as low to the bore axis as possible, but then it becomes an issue when the cheek piece sits up a little too high. That is one of the primary um, complaints that we addressed with this stock. Secondly, you'll notice it has a vertical pistol grip. For me anyway, I prefer the vertical pistol grip. It allows me to a little more control. I feel like I can do that all day long, where sometimes with a sporter style stock, I feel like I have to roll my hand a little bit forward which just a personal preference isn't quite as comfortable. Additionally, you'll see the barrel has a pressure point right at the fore end here, and then it is free floated for the remainder of the barrel. For complete specs and details, visit volkwartzen.com to learn more about the Raptor stock. 